Pero subsiste la pregunta, ¿por qué cayeron o descendieron todas estas naves en el estado de Nuevo México entre 1945 y 1950? La explicación, muy posiblemente por radares experimentales que fueron construidos y emplazados en los alrededores de la planta nuclear de Los Álamos. Pero había que localizar dónde se encontraban, demostrar que esta no solo era una teoría, sino una realidad. Y así Scott Ramsey y Susan Ramsey pudieron localizarlos. Nosotros llegamos con nuestras cámaras para dar testimonio de este evento extraordinario. Ahí está la prueba que demuestra lo que sucedió. Scott Ramsey pudo situar los radares que, de acuerdo a la información contenida en el memorándum del FBI, habrían sido los responsables de la caída de los objetos que se estrellaron o descendieron en Nuevo México entre 1945 y 50. Una evidencia que demuestra la posibilidad de que estos radares hayan sido responsables de interferir con el sistema de navegación de las naves presuntamente extraterrestres. La primera de estas bases fue conocida como el Vado y funcionó hasta 1950. El Vado Dam, o el entire El Vado Lake, fue built prior to Los Alamos. Uh, being completed. Los Alamos is right over the mountain range over there. They needed electricity at Los Alamos to do all the things they were doing, fusion, vision, uh, splitting atoms, refining the plutonium. So what they did was they, you can see how this is hand carved, this whole lake. This is a man-made lake and there's a GE uh, hydroelectric generator just below that building that makes the power and then the power was transmitted down these lines to Los Alamos. La segunda base de radar fue conocida como Tierra Amarilla, una base militar que operaría entre 1950 y 1957. El desarrollo de la nueva tecnología la hizo en poco tiempo obsoleta y fue abandonada. Así permanece desde 1957. How many people were here? About 100. They worked three shifts. I think it grew to about 200 by the mid 50s and uh, through uh, through 1957 when they were announcing that they were closing it and going with the dew line radar system. Why did they install these radars? These, after the war? These were here for one main purpose, and that was to protect Los Alamos, Sandia National Labs, and Kirkland Air Force Base. And if you look at where they are on a map, which we'll do later, El Vado was north, as far north, Moriarty was east and Continental Divide was west. They were afraid of what? Well, we were at the beginning, we we're well, actually well into the Cold War, so we were protecting these bases against espionage, spy planes, or bomber raids by the Soviets. We came looking for radar bases that had been talked about and people made reference to them and we found this place back in January 8th of 1999. By accident, we're out for a week or 10 days looking for the quote unquote secret radar bases and we found this one quite by accident. We had checked all these high points around this area. How powerful was these radar? Well, it was powerful enough that even though this was restricted airspace for private aircraft or commercial for that matter, um, there were manuals written on how to quickly shut the radar down if a uh, private aircraft wandered into this airspace. But this is an amazing discovery. Uh, you proved what nobody else could. Uh, and we are very thankful because this is just the second time that a camera has, been has ever been here. Yeah, that's true. 